Okay, the next video is going to show you how to create the curve on the top of our desk tidy. Okay, so what you will need for this is a pencil, your back your desk tidy, and the desk tidy template. What we're going to do, we're going to put the desk tidy curve template onto our work like so. Okay, what you can do is then just draw around the desk tidy. You might find it easier to put it on the desk. Okay, but do it right near the top, but just leaving a very, very small gap here. And just draw your line all the way around. Now you're going to do this on the back and the front. Okay, and that will become clear why in a minute. So you'll end up with a line, as you can see there. Put it on the back. Okay, trying to leave exactly the same sort of gap that you did on the front. Okay, and then draw a curve again on the back. Okay, so you'll have that on both front and back. Now, what we're going to do is cut, first of all, we're just going to cut the corner off. So once you've used the desk tidy, we're going to create a straight line after we've done the curve on our wood of what actually we're going to want to cut off with a saw. So we're just going to use the back edge like so. So we create a dark line there, and then again a dark line there. This is just so we're going to cut this off here and here, and then we're going to use the sander to actually sand it to shape. So we put the work in the vise this way around. Okay, slightly different to what you've done before. It needs to be quite tight because we don't want it moving. Okay, we're going to also need now the tenon saw again. Okay, and we're going to be cutting this at this angle. Okay, so slightly different to what we've done in the past. Finger again right on the line. Now this is a little bit more difficult and the saw will want to almost slip. Okay, so we've got to be really careful. Again, finger on the line, back of the blade on, standing at an ang appropriate angle so we're in line with, or the, basically this line is going between your legs. Okay, and then front of the saw on the table and just drag back. Once, twice, three times. Okay, and then as we did before, just cut off the corner. Now you'll find this is much easier because we're not cutting the whole length, we're just cutting the small piece, so this will be much quicker. As you get to the end, just slow up a little bit, just so we don't rip through the wood at the back. Okay, now hopefully when we turn this over, you'll see that we can't see, or well, we can still see our curve line here, and on the back again, we can still see the curve line here. We turn it over, which is why we did it on both sides then, and do it from the other angle. Okay, what I just need to do here, is just add my line on again that I'm going to cut. And then again, put my finger on, drag the saw back along that line, three times, twice, third time, and then just cut. Okay, you might find that your saw goes into the bench, so you get, just tilt the back of your saw and just knock it off. Okay, and hopefully we'll still again see that line as we can on the front there. Okay, it's dead important guys to slow up towards the end because what we don't really want is these chipping bits that actually come off the wood, okay, which we can see has happened a little bit here. Okay, we're now going to show you how to sand this curve to get it lovely and perfect. 